a fish farm, but also a gold mine. 40,000 sturgeons farmed to produce top quality caviar by the ton. Far from the native waters of the Caspian Sea, the fish thrive at this Israeli kibbutz. We really give our fish the optimum condition. So they grow fast, they grow to large size, and the caviar is just absolutely uh, great. Selling for around $2,000 a kilo, these large freshwater fish are big business. This farm hopes for an annual turnover of $7 million by 2010. At Kibbutz Dan, producing caviar wasn't the obvious choice, but the conditions were right. Higher water temperatures mean the fish mature quicker, making the famous delicacy available fast. And with the world's demand growing and the Caspian Sea resources dwindling, the maths were easy to do. We started rearing the fish for their meat on the demands of new Russian immigrants. From 2003, the price of caviar around the world started climbing. We thought we might as well breed the fish not only for the meat, but also for the caviar. Israel's caviar wants to make a name for itself on the world market. But at home, a big question remains. Is caviar kosher? To the sturgeon, it makes little difference, condemned as they are to a life of providing to the world's expensive tastes.